the weather forecast. Waitemata Harbour recreational forecast. Okay, today, sail west. Plenty of fuel, fuel. 10 litre. I got myself a cushion. That's gonna make me feel comfortable. Got myself a cooker. I've bagged my sleeping bags. I've got two bags. And uh, I've got a bit of safety gear. A couple of tools for the engine. Shoes. Um, some water. Yeah, Matt. That's, that, should, that should be okay. Away for a night out. There's even some wind, so I think I might, might try and do a bit of sailing. I think I will. Perfect. Here's my destination, the noises. Apparently they were called the noisettes when your devil arrived. English changed into the noises. Noisettes means cashew nuts apparently. It's Spanish. They're privately owned. You'd probably think it's about, you know, 12 knots, but I'll tell you what, it's not. I don't even think it's 10 knots. We are running with it, but the tide's coming in, so I'm just sitting on the uh, leeward side, you can see that. But, um, yeah, it's just pushing on down the swells, little swells going really nicely. It's so comfortable and peaceful. I do have that centerboard docking every now and then. Otherwise it's all good. The most peaceful, peaceful feeling. And um, it's quite deceptive when you look at those tops of those waves and the shadow on it. It's just current going against it, so it's not very strong wind at all. I think I'm doing around about five and a half knots, and the wind must be about nine knots. I, I feel like I've got about, honestly, three knots on my face. It's very, 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 very comfortable. You see we're getting along quite nicely. Now I haven't been out here for a little while, like a few years I think, to the islands here. They're quite remote, the noises, and they're privately owned. Neurota is the name of the family that own the islands. They're trying to get a marine reserve established. That's Otata. And there's another one over there. It's two main islands with a small island between, a couple of small islands between.
do want to have a look around here. I know there's a few rocks around, so I have to be very careful. We'll have a look. And there's some good caves along here too. I think there's one just in here. that ideal I wanted to get on that beach but it's just too much wind there so I'm gonna go back around the ocean side and uh, have another look to see if I can stay the night there's a chance but that beach nah, this window would. It's got too much bounce. Anyway, we'll just have a look around here, I think. Why can't I just anchor in deep water somewhere? I do want to stay here somewhere. Just have a look inside there. Go have a bow peep. Yeah, it's, it's probably pretty shallow in here. Um, nah, you can see a rock just here. And, uh, you know, it's just not enough swinging room. Gotta go on and have a look though. Can't see the, the depth of the water by like cliffs. I'm just going to go and have a little look at this. It's nice enough. But, I don't think I can hang here. I don't think I can hang. Is it deep enough? I can see the bottom there. I can put a rope from one side to the other I can hang. sunshine here at all. Well I've decided to anchor just off shore here. Uh, it just gives me enough room I believe to, to just keep out of trouble. I can hear, hear that seal over there sneezing. It seems to be holding quite nicely. Got about an hour to decide if I'm going to stay here, and I'm really wanting to. And if I have to move, and I'd say by five, and I can get somewhere uh, a lot better, um, more secure. But I'm pretty happy here, and behind the noises, I am happy. And there is a big amount of sea behind me here. As you can see but there's not much wind here the wind has got up it must be 15 out there around the corner it's lovely here that's oh, nice well I've just changed I've got lots of layers on you can see that I'm as thick thick as you can get I don't know how many layers I got on but a lot I'm going to prepare some food. I've got some rice pre-cooked. Here's my breakfast. There's some lunch. And I'll just chuck it on there. But I don't want to get too close to that. That's uh, very explosive. I've got my mat out drying. It's got a little bit of a water. Here's a, sh a boat that's just starting to pass me now. I see way up there. Hmm. Probably looking at me too. Well, at least it's warm. And it's pretty yummy too. 
and some wants to go down. First night on the Kakariki. Hmm. It's Great Barrier way up there. Great Bar Barrier Island. And over here is Coromandel. Well, I've tried to to get on med service around the back here, but it just doesn't have enough signal just to see the the weather and the. But that's a little bit anonymous, maybe. How quickly things can change. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this tarpaulin up, I think. I don't know what the temperature is. Must be that's <laughs> getting a bit cold. <laughs> Got a lot of layers on. It's getting cold. I know that. It's getting a bit, a bit Piccadilly. There's a bit of that black cloud over there. So uh, I'd like to see a, a radar on that, but mm. oh, I should be right. Well, that's just great. The wind's come up. Got my tent pitched, but as you can see, it's picking up a bit of wind on the anchor. So, I'll have to pull that, tie that down a bit. Just can't count on that forecast. You can never count on that forecast in New Zealand. <laughs> well, I ain't got that run right. We're holding on with the anchor. We're outside of the noises. It's a wilderness spot. I can see a star out there. I should make a wish. Now that wasn't planned. Wow, that's saying something. A small cloud up there, another front. That wasn't forecasted. Oh, I can see that cloud again coming over. It pisses me off. It's just so much wind in the front of that. Yeah. Just sitting here. I'm gonna go underneath this tent soon, I suppose, which is pretty useless, really. Well, I'm down in this tent, and it's pretty dark, as you can see, very dark, but. Covered. I think that wind's gonna. I think that wind is gonna slowly abate. It really does need to.
I'm going to paddle over. <clears throat> I'm just going to go over to this this area here. I've been hearing some seals, and I want to see if I can <clears throat> see if I can see it. So I'll just use this paddle, the sup paddle. It's so much easier. You can see the clarity of the water here. It's really nice. I'll just get this paddle and pedal back. Stunning channels, magnificent really, it's just so clear, oh, there's that seal, I think he's following me, where'd he get to? Well, I might go have a look at the other island. We just blat over there. Do that and disturb the peace. There we go. Have these oyster catchers. The rocks here. I think they're a North Island species, like the variable oyster catcher. Just want to check this cave out. Time to get the mask caught. Interesting spot to get to. Bit tricky doing this with one hand. Have a look at that cave. See how deep it goes. Lovely. I've just put the the anchor down in this little lagoon here. I'm gonna have some breakfast. Very clear water. Nice for diving. And I might just have my my breakfast, which is in one of these one of these lockers. Yeah. There, that's it. And I have got a spoon. 
could. And I've also got some milk. Ha ha ha. That's nice. Just leave this place. Get out of here under the motor. I can literally go. Well, it's pretty close to those rocks. Just picked up a mooring here. No, no, it's okay. I will come in. Don't worry, I'll come in. We're going to check out the mail, are we? Yeah, well, uh, the ferry's going to arrive shortly. Okay, we better get over there. I'm coming. Right. I'm... Oh, yeah. Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah, that's better than that mooring. Here comes the ferry. Yeah. That's not a very good Somebody that knows what they're doing. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, she probably won't sit out. That's okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that'll do. That's my green dinghy if you come down in the boats. You oh, can't okay. get to the boat. Okay, I can use and the it. the oars are on the other side of that white dinghy. Okay. That sounds great. And you just put it over you. I'll just pull this up a bit. I think I might be alright. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Here is the ferry that comes over to Rikino. He's on his way back to Auckland. It's an all-woman crew, apparently. That's my mate's trimaring right there. <laughs> and he said he hasn't bailed it for over a year, the water in it. He built it. Guy, you got tough feet. Yeah. Well, they're dry now. What's this place here? This is the hall. Yeah. The library. Can you actually rent it? No. Oh, you can. It's right over the water, isn't it? Right on the ocean. Oh, it gets the shit back down, isn't it? Does it? Yeah. This was built with material from the Army to Navy barracks on Mona Heath. Oh, really? Yeah, one of the guys that lived here was a builder. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I'm just wondering, see this here? Puzzle and there's CDs here and so the this movie. Is... This is the library. You just come and help yourself. Yeah. The Rikino Library. Mm. See all the bloody jigsaw puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles. These are all books on people. You yeah. know, like yeah, Elvis. Elvis and all that. Yeah. Paintings, books. Yeah. Do people donate these books? Yeah. Oh no, here's the thing. They moved it to there. What the hell did they do that for? 
and moved it to here. Yes, yeah, it's proper all in it. It's easy to put the books on when you come in yeah. the door. Yeah. Wow, what a cool spot. A good library, actually. Yeah. Hey, a lot of books on sailing, I'd say. And put some dirt on and make a lawn across there and you stop it. Yeah, that's true. But they won't do it. They tried to build a... Look, look a, they've tried to build something. Have Seen it? Yes. Cracked the bottom. Oh, no. And uh, yeah. I was going to put the pontoon floats onto the side of it yeah, because great. it's fairly straight. What a great idea. Yes. Actually, it's a pretty good... It's a quite a good shape, this boat. Mm, yeah. I, like I can it. strengthen it up. Quite like it. Yeah. Have you been doing any more collecting? Have you got any more stuff? Oh, off and on. I'm always grabbing something. That Dawea reel, that's a Chinese one. That was $140. I bought that at Christmas. But these ones here, like, I just get them out of the rubbish. I find them in the bin. People chuck them away. They've got more money than fucking grain. <laughs> I very rarely buy a reel. Yeah. Like there's bait rods there. This I got this not long ago. This is uh, stainless steel chimney. Yeah, it's quite good. Isn't it? It's expensive. Oh, right. There's all the top part. Look, all the outlet and everything. You have got quite a bit of. You could build another house. <laughs> I've got a tractor in there. It's 2007. A tractor in there. Oh, yeah, it's under that cover. Yeah. Never use it. Wow. I put it in there and I never use it. Wow. Paid 12 and a half grand for it. Hey. I was going to play Mary Hell because I own that section there. It's worth 200,000 now. No wonder they you get, keep fit walking down these steps. Oh. Yeah. These sections here yes. are the middle. Okay. And this section here and that one over there, they're the back. See, they're just going together. Yeah. And I'm just uh, I'm using these countersunk um, six mil bolts, yes, stainless. And then I'm going to uh, fiberglass it. Fiberglass it. Mm. Hey, you know what? That's There's, the back. You can actually make a pontoon out of this, like a literally a. That's what I'm doing. It's I just quite, told you I'm making a pontoon boat. It's quite. It's that will actually work. Yeah. And oh. I put that dinghy in between them. And bolt them to the side of the dinghy. God, it's a good idea. Yeah. No. Um, I'll show you the other front. The other front's outside here. Okay. Secret keys. What? Secret keys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, Tom, my mate Tom, he sometimes comes down. I supply him with fish. You know. He'll go in to see if there's a fish in the fridge. I don't tidy up very often. I don't blame you. Well, I live on my own. I've got no one to tell me what to do. I do what I fucking want. I'm glad she gave me those bags. I'm just running out. Wow. What an amazing spot. Fantail. Fantail in the house. <laughs> cool. I had a pet. Oh, I showed you pictures of me pet uh, too, didn't I? Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> really is. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> wow, it's incredible. Yeah, you name it. Any beer around the world must be here. Oh, no, no. They were just ones I was collecting while I was building. If it don't come out, I'm going to put some water in this. Okay. And you made all this furniture, eh? Yep, made the table and the chairs. It's your design. Yep. Firewood, you got this pot belly. Yep, paid $160 for that. It came from the barrier. That's, That's the second one. I like these little tables, Rakino. Yeah, yeah. And you've got so much yeah. personal information here. Yep. That's, that's a CD good idea. That, that's a good idea. That there's yeah. your trimmer end down there. Yeah. Wow. I built the CD racks there. See these ones? Yeah. The, aren't they good? No, not those ones. These ones. I built those ones. Oh yeah. Just out of scrap ply. Nice design. I, I, I make a lot of things out of scrap ply. You know. That's a. Uh, there's a fucking table. I forgot that I had there. Look. 
Oh, uh, yeah, it's nice. Mm. You've done all these. It used to be what I ate my food off. That's the other one there. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, and then I made this one. Just let's have a look at that photo. Who did that pic Who did that painting? Uh, a guy called Moon. His second name was... He'd be dead now. He fucked it up too because there's only three floats on each outrigger. <laughs> and, and, and it had four. Oh, and that's it. my other yacht, that one there, which is up the top. Oh, okay. Colin. Oh, that one there. Yeah, brilliant man. Now, what is? Just tell us about. Did you design these? Yeah, they're a different marlin to the other. That's brilliant, hey? Mm. They towed that. That guy towed it back. It was flat calm on the Tuesday. Well, was it? And as soon as he got to town, it blew its ass off again. <laughs> I tell you what, you want to come over one day? Yeah. On a, on a weekend. Yes. And go in and see that guy that owns that place. He's seventy-five. Yeah. And tell him I told you to come and have a look, and he'll show you right through the the lodge. I'd like to jump the grey's old place. Mm -hmm.